Now we're going to work on converting some met some measures of the metric system, and we're going to use our friend kilo, hecto, deca, the unit, meter, gram, or liter, deca, centa, milla, to help us out. And then we have a little acronym for that called, and it goes King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Now how's this going to help us convert um, different to different units? Well, let's try it out. Kilo or kilometer. 20, let's say we have 25 kilometers. A kilometer is 1,000 meters, so 25K, and the abbreviation is KM. And we want to, let's say we want to convert that to meters, so that is equal to blank M. M is the abbreviation for meters. What we can do here is every time we move over to the right, we increase it by a power of 10. And to increase it by a power of 10, I would write the 25 here. And that's like moving the decimal to the right. So if I move down this line to the right, I move the decimal to the right. The decimal's default position would be right next to the 1, so one time. So for every time I move it here, I move it on my number. And I moved it once, twice, three times. So to convert kil kilometers to meters, I move the decimal once, twice, three times to the right. Let's actually do that. Let me start over here. So I have 25 kilometers. I have to add a zero, two, three. So 25 kilometers is 25,000 meters. So if we move to the right, we're moving the decimal over to the right, increasing by powers of 10. And it works in the opposite direction, too. So let's say I have, um, let's say I have 32,000 centimeters. Centimeters of one hundredth of a meter. Um, so I'll write CM is the abbreviation for centimeter, and that's equal to, let's convert that to meters. How many meters is that? So it works in the, I decrease by powers of 10, moving to the left. So one for every position I move to the left, I decrease it by a power of 10. So I'm going to decrease it once, twice. And to do that, you're simply, the decimal point's right here, you're simply moving the decimal point to the left to increase, decrease it by a power of 10. Um, once, twice. So I move off on going to centa to meter, centimeter to meter, I move it two times to the left. Once, twice. So 32,000 centimeters is 320 meters. And once again, to do that, I went in the direction to the left, two places. So I had to take the decimal point and move it to the left two places, and I get 320. Let's do another one. Let's say I had um, 92,000 uh, milliliters milliliters and I wanted to change that to liters so so 92,000 ml equals blank L so how many places to the I'm gonna move my decimal point to the left a certain amount of places because I'm going from milliliters to liters how many places to the left once twice three times so I'm gonna let me rewrite this this time 92 thousand the decimal point would go right next to the ones place so I'm moving this over one two three times and that would give me 92 so 92,000 milliliters is 92 liters let's do another let's try um, let's do a big jump here let's go centimeters let's say I have um, 80, 860,000 centimeters, and I wanted to convert that equals blank kilometers. 
So which way am I moving on my line here? So I'm moving to the left. So if I move on this to the left, I'm moving the decimal to the left. But how many places from centa to, to kilo or kilometer? One, two, three, four, five. So let me rewrite this down here, 8,600,000. ,000. Moving this to the left, I have to move the decimal to the left five times. One, two, three, four, five. So that would be 8.6. I don't have to add these zeros over here. They can just go away. 8.6 kilometers, or 8 and 6 tenths of a kilometer. Pretty easy, right? Let's do another one. <clears throat> Let's say I have um, 9 kiloliters. KL, 9 kiloliters. And I want to see how many uh, milliliters that is. Is blank ML. So the first thing I ask myself, I'm at kiloliters. Which direction do I go to get to milliliters? I'm going to the right. If I'm going to the right, I'm moving the decimal to the right. I'm going to write the 9 here, and the decimal would be right next to the 1's. Next, I have to ask how many places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. So I'm really just adding 6 zeros to my 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And put my commas in there. So 9 kilo, uh, kiloliters is 9 million milliliters, and that's converting in the metric system.